Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to this conference on ESG and sustainable or green investments. My name is Vera spender Kobeck, and I will be your host today. I am a former management consultant and I'm currently running my own training and consulting company focusing on business transformation, circular economy and sustainable finance. Most of my clients are in the UK and the Middle East and in the spare time I run a family charity and we're hoping to deliver a little bit of social progress to a slum community in Mombasa in Kenya. It is my great honor to host this conference on behalf of the Nordic Chamber of Commerce in the Czech Republic. And again, welcome everybody. The world is recovering from the pandemic. Inflation and energy costs are skyrocketing and many leaders and managers are starting to talk about the necessity to look at the whole picture alongside economic and market indicators and define a strategy that makes sense over the medium as well as the long term. And on the top of this, we are seeing climate change progressing. At COP26 last year in Glasgow, the world leaders agreed to meet perhaps the most ambitious goal in human history. And that is to reach net zero by 2050 or by 2060, if it's particularly onerous for your country. The Czech Republic remains the fourth largest emitter per capita in the EU and to reduce emissions by 55% before 2030, which is in line with the EU pledge, will require additional investments of about 500 billion Czech crowns. How do businesses embrace this challenge and what opportunities they are finding will be the focus of today's discussion. I don't have one fantastic panel for you, I have two fantastic panels. Before I introduce the panelists in more detail, please let me tell you what you can expect this morning. We have about two hours together, so each panel is about an hour. Every panelist will be given about 15 minutes to talk about sustainability or ESG in their area of expertise. And then uh, we will take a few questions and we will ask the panelists for their opinions. And then we close the first panel and then we will do it all over again on the second panel. The first panel is focused on transformation of existing businesses, opportunities and challenges they are finding in the transformation. And the second panel is then focused on startups new businesses and innovation and also broader spectrum of investors. 